Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if you're first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing. Support this channel by subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit the notification bell. You'll be the first to be updated when I upload a new video. Remember, we are still looking at Kuwait labor law. Remember, Kuwait labor law, like any other Middle East country, has its own different clauses that govern the labor, the labor contracts or govern both the employee and the employers in Kuwait. And today's video, we are going to look at what we call the notice period in Kuwait. Remember, each of these Middle East or these Gulf countries, each of these countries has what we call different labor laws in, in all, 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 all rules and regulations. And also, it has uh, different clauses that govern the labor law. And today's video, we want to look at uh, what is the notice period in Kuwait. Remember, Kuwait, like any other Gulf country, is one of the eyes, is also has a rich, uh, a rich variable, world most variable currency at the end of it all, meaning that it has a little bit of higher money uh, salary conversion with the exchange rate. Remember, uh, uh, when we look at uh, a notice period, we don't fail, we cannot fail to mention what we call employment contracts because remember, it is the employment contract or a labor contract that governs or that. Uh, creates or bites the gap between the employee and the, the employer at that time. And remember, when we talk about Kuwait itself, Kuwait has two types of contracts, uh, which one will have what we call a definite and what we call an indefinite contract. And remember, the Kuwait labor law number, uh, number 6 for 2020, for 2010, there are differences between the two different contracts, that is for the definite and that is for what you call the indefinite. And when you have what you call a definite term of contract, it means that you can, if your contract, your contract is finished, you can resign, but make sure that contract is not signed or renewed automatically under what you call a definite uh, contract term, which may be sometime a definite term, may either be for two or three years, or it can be for three years, that is according to what is agreed upon. And if you sign for what you call an indefinite uh, term, your contract does not state otherwise. The notice period is, has to be three months that you have to give your employer either in writing or in what we call an email in the government or in what we call the company website, but not on a text message or WhatsApp. That is what governs that contract at a time that when you have a definite you can definitely resign at a given period of time or because or when your contract comes to an end you can you can end your service at that time but when you have what we call an indefinite remember an indefinite contract is more than it goes more than what we call the three years so meaning that for you to resign for for you to get off the work or stop your service you need to let your employer know about your decision to resign and it has to be put in what we call writing in what we call three months that is per what we call uh, per the law of qatar or per, per the law of kuwait remember the notice period is three months for monthly salad employers so if for those employers that are being paid salaries their uh, notice period to their employer is normally what you call three months and one month uh, one month notice period will be for those people that are not paid what you call sal salaries we have not paid for salaries uh, definitely meaning that they can live without uh, can live without uh, being allowed they can live uh, within one month at a time of it all remember the employer who terminates the employee's contract without having the employer complete a notice period is required to pay a total amount of several salaries covering the notice period. For example, if you're not, if, for example, if you terminate your contract with your employee, if you uh, you terminate your contract with your employer, remember the notice period has to be uh, three has to be three months as according to the Kuwait labor law. But your employer decides to not allow you to complete a three months with him, then that is means according to what you call the Kuwait labor law, that employer has to pay you 
all the three, he has to pay you all the salary that amounting to the uh, notice period of the three months, then you can leave and move out with all your compensation paid to you. Hope that is quite very good for the time. Unlike when you, we looked at other Gulf countries, when they have different, uh, different notice period at the time. For Kuwait, it's quite very different, and that is what exactly it is. Remember, you, what you need to think about, you need to know what to call a definite and anti-invented contract, which I talked about, and you need to know that the notice period in Kuwait has to be three months. You have to let your employer know in three months advance that you'll be leaving the work. And also your employer has to let you know in three months if once wants to terminate you or if once terminated you, terminated you from the service. Hope I've tried to share up something. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. By the way, don't forget to hit the notification bell. And don't forget to support by subscribing. It's Max from the Max Creation TV. See you again in